there are 262 names for sugar. 262. And the reason is because the food industry likes it that way, because they can use a different name for sugar on the side of the package, and a different sugar can be number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and when you add it up, it's number one. They hide it in plain sight. But virtually every one of those 262, it's because of the fructose that's the problem. So what is glucose and what is fructose? And while we're at it, what is sucrose and high fructose corn syrup too? Glucose is what plants make in starch. Fructose is what plants make in sugar. Starch, not sweet. Sugar, sweet. Glucose, not very sweet. Fructose, very sweet. Fructose is addictive because fructose stimulates the reward center of the brain and tells you, this feels good, I want more. In the same way cocaine, heroin, nicotine, and alcohol do. And it makes sense because fructose and alcohol are metabolized the same way, do the same things metabolically in the body and also centrally in the brain. Fructose and alcohol both lead to Alzheimer's disease. Fructose is half of sucrose, half of dietary sugar, half of high fructose corn syrup, half of maple syrup, honey, agave. If it's sweet and it's, quote, natural, it's fructose. That's the way it works. Fructose has metabolic detriments that glucose does not. Glucose stimulates mitochondria to work better. Fructose inhibits mitochondria from working better. Fructose inhibits three enzymes involved in mitochondrial function. I'll name them real quick. AMP kinase, ACAD-L, and CPT1. Bottom line, fructose inhibits mitochondrial function. Fructose inhibits ATP generation. Fructose inhibits energy metabolism. Fructose makes you sick. The goal is keep the fructose down. How do you do that? Well, get rid of the dietary sugar. The problem is there are 262 names for them, and the food industry uses them all. So until we have policies that address this issue, in Washington and London and throughout the world, you have to be on your guard. Another problem with fructose is it's not measured by the CGM. So glucose is monitored by the CGM, fructose is not. So when you consume something with a lot of sugar, your CGM will rise because of the glucose, but you won't even see the contribution of the fructose because it's not being picked up by the CGM. But because fructose does all of these things that glucose doesn't, it's seven times worse, and you don't even measure it on the CGM. So absolutely essential to try to keep your dietary sugar consumption low. How low? Well, how about zero? No one needs it. There is no biochemical reaction in any vertebrate organism that requires dietary fructose. How's that? Now, we can tolerate a certain amount, up to about 25 grams of sugar, therefore 12 grams of fructose per day. That would be six teaspoons of added sugar per day. An orange juice is 11 teaspoons. A Milky Way bar is seven teaspoons. A bowl of Fruit Loops is four teaspoons. So you can see it adds up pretty fast. Bottom line is, if you want dessert, have dessert. Just don't eat dessert for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks.